Hi, and welcome back to another video. In recent times where prices of building materials keeps increasing, it is very important to put in some measures in place to be able to save some money while you are having your building project done. So in this video, I'm going to share some tips with you on how you can go about to save some money so that you can, you know, use those money to do other things in your building project. So without not talking further, let's get started. The first one is comparing of prices. It is very important to compare prices when you are actually about making a purchase of maybe some building materials. How can you go about comparing of prices? One way you can go about comparing prices is to have multiple vendors. Don't stick with one vendor. Have at least about five or four vendors that you can always contact to find out prices of goods that you intend to buy so if it is let's say a bag of cement you can contact vendor a to find out the price vendor b to find out the price c and then vendor d and at the end of the day you're able to compare the prices and then you decide on which one you're going to um, purchase from aside cement this carries across other building materials as well being it iron rods being it um, sand being it stones whatever it is you have to contact a couple of vendors to find out the prices of what um you intend to buy and then you are able to you know compare the prices and decide okay because this is slightly cheaper i'm going to go with this that is one way you are able to save money if you decide to just take it one vendor at the end of the day you never know the vendor may be selling to you at a higher price and you wouldn't know so if you intend to save some money on your building try to try out this step that is comparing of prices before you make a decision especially when you're making purchases another way is also negotiating prices yes this is very important this can be uh, done for both services as well as purchase of product too if you are going to purchase products try as much as possible to get you know negotiate the price to get a good deal don't just uh, say okay to whatever price you are going to be given and then you end up making payment for it no try to negotiate further and even if you have multiple vendors try to you know contact these vendors and try to negotiate the price and see who is going to be able to give you a good deal and once you get a good deal you are able to you know um, go with either that vendor and then also with maybe set for services be it uh, uh, mason carpenters um, electricians and the rest try as much as possible to negotiate the price that they are going to give you for service that they are going to render and it would also be good if you have more of these um, that is uh, service um, rendering people that is the artisans if you have more that is going to be to your advantage so that uh, you're able to you know compare the prices and see which one is going to be best to go with now also it is important to know that in as much as you are looking at uh, a lower price you should also be considering the um the work output that you're going to get for from that particular artisan it shouldn't be a cheaper price and not getting a good work done so you should also pay attention to that when you are looking at you know getting good prices for your project the next step is going to be purchasing in bulk yes it is important to purchase in bulk when your building project is a big one and you're going to need a lot more building materials if you purchase in bits at the end of the day you might end up spending more as compared to purchasing in bulk an example is let's say if you are purchasing iron rods now bulk quantity of iron rods are sold in um, tons so an example is let's say 16 mm which is like about 70 pieces per ton so if you're going to need some you know 16 mm rods instead of purchasing in bits maybe you purchase 20 today and then the other time you are going to purchase maybe 10 pieces and the rest if you are able to put your money together and you purchase this um, one ton which is about 70 pieces you're going to end up saving some money as compared to purchasing in bits so that's also another way you can go about you know um saving some money trying as much as possible to purchase in bulk if you can or you have the means to so we've spoken about comparing of prices we've spoken about negotiating prices we've also spoken about uh purchasing in bulk the next step is going to be purchasing during festive season yes so you know when it's about um you know getting to festive season being it's christmas easter and you know the other festive seasons that are available you hear of so many promotions that goes on maybe reduction in prices quick sale whatever it is yes 
if um your building project you're able to start your building project around that period you are likely to be able to enjoy some good discounts from some of these um, companies that offer promotions so let's say if you're purchasing towels there could be a huge reduction in sales um, that is a reduction in prices for the towels if you are purchasing maybe um, kitchenware bathware and bathroomware and the rest you might be able to enjoy some discount so uh, you have to be a little bit strategic about your building project depending on the size of the building project maybe how fast you want it uh, will also tell that you'll be able to wait till festive period to be able to get some good sales and then you uh, you go ahead to be able to purchase some of these materials that you may need for your building so that is about uh, purchasing during festive seasons the other tip is going to be asking for discounts yes it is very important to ask for discounts when you are making purchases whatever quantity you are purchasing try as much as possible to ask for discount you never know um, the vendor may be good enough to give you some good discount and that is going to help you save some money on your project so yes ask for discounts if you can um, for your building project now the next one is sticking to plan yes sticking to plan this is very important um, the reason i'm saying sticking to plan is important and is that sometimes when you're having your building project done you've had a building plan which has been done for you you didn't really factor into it certain things and then along the way you might want to have some tweaks try as much as possible to have minimal tweaks if you are going to have multiple or more tweaks that is going to result in you going to spend so much money because it wasn't part of the plan you get it so try as much as possible to stick to your plan that is a building plan if possible and if you need even if you are going to have tweaks try as much as possible to minimize the tweaks so that you don't end up spending so much money on the building as you should have under normal circumstance the next step is treating your workers well i'm sure you might be wondering what has treating your workers well got to do with saving some money on your building well i'll share with you how that is possible treating your workers well is basically having good working relationship with them at the end of the day when someone is working for you the person isn't your slave and the person isn't uh, meant to be treated anyhow you have to treat the person with respect you know you have to respect the opinions you have to have you know good working relationship with them so that at the end of the day you also become a little bit considerate when you find yourself in situations where maybe the finances are not coming the way they are supposed to and as part of this some of the things you can do is maybe at a working site you can buy them water you can buy them food you can offer them tips and the rest and at the end of the day when you're able to do this they begin to have you at heart and sometimes they become considerate and the charge that they may be charging is under normal circumstances if they are supposed to charge you let's say about 100 cities because of these things that you've been doing for them buying them food buying them water offering them tips and the rest they might decide to go with 80 cities or even if you ask for reduction they might be okay with that because they know you are a good person you treat them well and an example is um, especially with my mason and then the other artisans that i use for my building whenever i'm coming to site i try as much as possible to buy water sometimes when i'm coming i call to ask would they need something maybe food maybe something then i try to get it for them when i'm coming in as much as i'm doing this i don't say i'm going to be taking it directly from their money no i don't do that because food isn't so expensive maybe some kinky i uh, spend like about 20 cities 30 cities on kinky and they become happy and then they you know enjoy working with you because they know you treat them well sometimes especially with my missions i may not necessarily have money i'll explain to him i don't have money at this point but he would be considerate and still wanting to go ahead to do the work and whenever i have the money ready pay him and sometimes when he's giving me quotes he's even considerate because he knows you know their relationship is very good so instead of maybe quoting or and, you know mentioning a higher amount at the end of the day he might be moderate with the amount that he'd be mentioning sometimes even when he gives a quote i'll tell him to reduce a bit or i'll offer to give this and he seems to be okay because of some of these you know things that you know we, i do at the end of the day uh but step that is having try as much as possible to have a good working relationship which boils back to treating your work as well whenever you are working with people you don't have to have the mindset that because you are paying them they have to come do whatever they, they they are supposed to do and that should be about it no it shouldn't necessarily be like that once you are able to develop good working relationship with them trust me that is going to go a long way to help you know with your building project and through that you may be able to save some money um, 
from that. My very final tip is doing it yourself if it is possible. DIY, yes, that is do it yourself. I'm sure you might have seen me do a couple of things myself during my building project and honestly that helped me save a lot of money. Yes, it was possible because I tried them myself. It was possible because I, you know, went to the internet to watch some video tutorials on how they were done and the rest and I was able to implement it. So if possible and you can, try as much as possible to do certain things yourself and trust me you'll be able to save a lot of money over there so an example is a plumbing work i did um, almost majority part of that myself and i i was able to save a good amount of money on that the fixing of the lower blades i did that myself i was able to save good amount of money on, on that fixing of the fixtures in the bathroom i was able to do the, you know that myself as well and i was able to save some money over there so if you try as much as possible to do some of these petty petty things you wouldn't end up always paying people to do this if you have to collect stones from one point to the other and you can do it yourself try as much as possible to do that and this will mean you have to also get some few tools which is going to make it possible to do some of these things you should have a hammer you should have you know saw you should have um, a screwdriver you should have pliers you know some of these basic or some of these small small um tools could help you save some money that is if you try as much as possible to do some of these things yourself so that is basically going to be about it for this video so the very first one as i said is trying as much as possible to compare in prices negotiating of prices purchasing in bulk if possible purchasing during festive season that is if you can wait uh, till this period and treating your workers for well, doing some of the things yourself and then also asking for discounts which is important and trying as much as possible to stick to the building plan you have so that you don't end up making so many tweaks which may not necessarily uh, be part of the original plan so that will be about it for this video thank you very much for watching in case you are new kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime i have a new video you get to see it so i'll see you in the next one